I'm Jodon Greenwood, Ag Instructor at Hermitage, Arkansas. I've uh, been here about 42 years. Just fell in love with uh, enriching kids in values that, that I had and I thought were beneficial to them and, and society. I came to Hermitage, Arkansas in the fall of 77. Students uh, seem to learn more if they're in a competitive situation. And, and that education that they get will stay with them for life. I had to narrow it down, and uh, I certainly like the livestock contest, forestry contest, electricity, uh, some, some leadership events such as parliamentary. We, I think that's one thing that makes us work harder is to stay kind of on top of the situation and, and win we, as often as we can. They do a lot, of, a lot of good for the students. In our area, forestry is a big industry. And so uh, I can certainly justify the time and effort that we put into the forestry contest and education. Uh, livestock, maybe not so much, but we're teaching some uh, with the uh, reasons that they have to give in livestock on classes and things. We're, we're, uh, we're getting some poise and presentation, some voice, uh, letting them learn how they're supposed to speak and, and when they get in front of someone doing a program or, or any speaking situation. And so we started about February of last year and we started um, going to local contests which could range from 30 minutes from Hermitage or two hours, five hours from Hermitage and it didn't matter if it was rain, shining, sun was shining or anything we were going to the competition and we were going to compete and so we would go and the competition may start at 8 and end at 12 and once it was over Mr. Greenwood would take us through the woods and we would go over all the materials to see what we need to work on and we probably went to 20 or so competitions and that was where we really practiced. Well we really had to buckle down after we won state and realize what we the most important things we needed to get done um, which was a test. There was a test that, in, that was introduced for the national contest and the team event, which we were not familiar with with the state contests. Those um, introduced their own challenges of themselves. You gotta work for something if you really want to achieve it. If you want something, you gotta chase it and really go after it. For team events, we do have to talk to um, professional foresters on different topics and forest issues. It's the whole thing has really helped me be able to get up and talk to people in public and um, really be confident in myself. We had to um, learn new skills for the national competitions and so we would have practices in the morning before school or after school after, and we would work around our schedules uh, with sports and other activities. And um, we would go in the woods and Mr. Greenwood would either get us a plot of land that we'd have to determine what trees to harvest or just work on our team event skills. And we did a lot of that and then we went to nationals and were successful. Yeah, all of these plaques on the walls, they came from him. He's just, he's always been an influence for our school. He's always had an influence. He's left and I guess it just drawed him back. He couldn't stay away. I'm extremely humbled by the quality of students that I've had and the success that they've had. We have, I think, uh, if you combine the two, I don't know, probably 10 national championships, and uh, all of them are different. Uh, but, you know, for them to set their goals so high and be able to accomplish those goals is very satisfying to me, and I know it is to them. Uh, and it's something they can always hang on to, but more importantly, it lets them set goals in the future with jobs and, and you know things that they get involved with later in life. They know they can set goals and accomplish them. I think it builds that confidence of being successful in life. 